In this presentation, we will discuss the reporting of taxes for flow-through entities. Flow-through entities typically being those entities which will have a business, a business formation, which will typically report that information, that income from the business using oftentimes a K-1 to the owners of the business, to their individual Form 1040. And then within the Form 1040, the tax on that business income will ultimately go to the government for the tax preparation from the individual return. So that, in other words, has a flow through effect of the income being made at the business level, flowing through to the individual income tax return with the use of the K-1. And then on the 1040, that is where the liability is calculated. Payments are being made or reported to the government for federal income taxes. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. So flow through entities include things like partnerships, limited liability companies, and S corporations. So when we think about the types of businesses, remember what we have here is oftentimes a sole proprietorship reporting a Schedule C. You can think of it kind of like a flow through entity, a Schedule C, but the Schedule C is really just a component of the Form 1040. It doesn't have to file a separate return altogether, as opposed to these three, which do have to file a separate return. However, the separate return is just an information return. And you can think about it, if you think about it, they kind of have to, right? Because if you're talking about a partnership, traditionally a partnership means two or more individuals. So you have to file an, an information return in order to know the income of the partnership that you can then allocate to the partners in accordance with their partnership agreement before you can know what should then flow through to the 1040. Typically that's the case. That's typically the case for a limited liability company, which is kind of similar to a partnership, but it's, it's set up for, the, for oftentimes for liability protection purposes and for an S corporation. Because typically, if you think about an S corporation, same idea. Usually you have more than one. A traditional S corporation would have more than one shareholder. So you have to file a return to know how to, how to know what the net income is going to be allocated to those shareholders. And then take that net income and report it to them so they can record it on their Form 1040. Now, it is possible to have a single member LLC or a single member S corporation. And the only the reason you would typically do that is for liability purposes and maybe tax purposes so it is possible to make the decision of should i be a sole proprietor or should i be a single member llc or a single uh, shareholder s corporation but it, in any case if you have one person or multiple people you're going to have to file a separate return for these three however the separate return is just going to tell us which individual owners are being allocated how much of the income from these entities that will then be reported on their 1040. That's the flow through. So the, the key idea here, income not taxed at the entity level. And that's the point of these, of these entities, many of them, the limited liability and the S Corp in particular. The point is that one, we're trying not to have it be taxed at the entity level and then taxed again at the level of the individual that's one of the big benefits of having these types of uh, entities why they exist uh is uh, is one of those reasons another reason there's more, more reasons than just that liability purposes and whatnot as well but that's one of the big things about them income may be eligible for qualified business income the qbi 20 percent deduction huge kind of new credit that we have here so it's worth noting that as we as we see these flow through entities then uh, they may qualify for that credit, which is a huge credit. Key components of the flow through entity that remember are that they file an information return, but pay no tax at the entity level. So we're still going to have to file a separate return for the flow throughs, not with the sole proprietor. We have to file a separate schedule C that's typically not thinking as kind of the normal flow through entity, although it has some of the same characteristics to be taxed on the 1040. But typically we think of flow throughs as having to file a separate return but it's just information return that then is used to file or report or flow that income through to the to the individual taxes, no tax being assessed on the uh, corporate level or the entity level. Also note that this could change and be a little bit different for state taxes. States might try to might try to tax you a little bit depending on the type of entity and the state 
that we're in. We're talking here federal taxes. And then we're going to report information to be added to the individual's return, usually using the Form K-1. So the Form K-1 is just an individual uh, type of form to report the income from the entity to the individual. It's kind of like a W-2 form for, the, for this type of transaction. It's going to say, hey, this is how much you earned from this entity, kind of like a W-2 does. This is how much you earned. And we're, this is what you need to report on your Form 1040. And then we have the information from the K-1 is reported on the 1040, usually used using a Schedule E. So if we have this K-1, then it's usually going to be reported first on the Schedule E, and then that's going to flow through to the 1040 and be included in taxable income typically. There also may be items on the K-1 that are going to be reported on Schedule B or D, depending on the circumstances. In other words, we might have some kind of interest income, which might be reported on Schedule B, and we might have some type of capital gain type of information, which would have to be reported on Schedule D, these being individual forms, individual schedules, this being the K-1, which would report the information from the entity level. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.